Okay, this is take four of the hearing of Mr. Andy Alley's representations in the complaint case against him. The time is five past one, same location, same person present. Ms. Alley's been handed a copy of the third take. 5E9 of the report, it states, the complaints made against AA were not made because AA's political views, real or apparent. They were made because the way he conducted himself in the office upset and offended his fellow team members. There is ample evidence for, for, that this was the case both from the evidence in the previous investigation and from some of the additional evidence we have obtained. I'm curious, if I'm not, the complaints not against, made against me were not because of my political views, how can I possibly be disciplined for expressing any political views? Well, are you, or are you being One supposedly minute. disciplined for the fact that you upset people? How? If I didn't express any political views, how could I have upset them? Not people can upset people always, can't they? But that's, that's what you're saying, that they, they'll be indisciplined for. Well, if that's what upset, it says there. If he's upset them as well, is it not fairly the grievance procedure again? Because mm. if he upset them, it should be going good through the grievance procedure. And once again, Andy Stansfield, as the bandee of this team, should be should know the grievance procedure fully and mm. be taking the team off to sort these issues out, rather than ending up at the point we are now. Mm. One minute, thirty seconds. Uh, and, and there is ample evidence to support this case. Well, I'll tell you what, if there's ample evidence, that ample evidence was there for Anthony Stansfield, fairly to do the job as a bandy. Fact of the matter is, there isn't any evidence against me apart from wild, fantastic allegations based on racism. Why? Hence Tony Smith's comments that he believed I would support suicide bombers for wearing an Arabic headscarf. Um, but if the complaint says I'm, I'm, the complaint's not about my political views, then. Uh, I don't understand what we how am I obsessing people with what? And if the department hadn't accused me of criminal offences like sexual harassment, then I can't be found guilty of offences which the department is saying they never accused me of in the first place. Well if they are accusing me of sexual harassment, then under the Protection of Harassment Act, nineteen ninety seven, that causes me stress and therefore qualifies it as a Two minutes thirty. Criminal offence. And then, of course, there's a small matter of dates. Two minutes. Yes, you've raised the point about dates. I think earlier, and we will we will look into that. Well, I don't. I can't even tell you. Well, I was in the tax credit office at the time these alleged offences took place. Two minutes. 50. I can tell you at the time that Tim Fisher says I was bullying him. I wasn't in work at the day. And you say that this, this Tim Fisher reference yeah. is... In his complaint. In connection with which of your complaints? In his complaint against me. Could we talk about that at the end then, please? We could. Thank you. Well, remind me. Indeed. Is there anything else to say about 5E? Five. Just if there's ample evidence um, and the complaints were not made because of his political views. If there's ample evidence, what what what, what are where is the where what is the ample evidence? Um, and you know what what is it pertaining to if it isn't political views? Because once again, it would seem it seem that it's a complete failure of Andy Stansfield to do his job, which he's paid to do, and a complete failure again of the proceed uh, grievance procedures. And there's a small other matter, uh, talking about racism. Um, as I understand it, the complaint was. Um, these people all put in the complaints around the same time. Sorry, Miss Alec, can I interrupt? You're talking about this complaint. Is this I'm racial? I'm talking about all the complaints. Is this, what, well, this 5E, right. is this racial harassment you're talking about? Of course. Yep. This is going on to 5F, really, isn't it? Well, should, well, all right, we'll go on to that then. Okay, are you happy? Well, spotted. Because it's the process. It's you're right. Minute. Are you happy yeah, that we've can... covered 5E? Uh, one last thing about 5E. There was, Anthony sent an email to Emma Todd. I got an email from a lady called Emma Todd of TCO News saying that Anthony has suggested um, that she might like to write an article about my research, which she said on the National Front, it was actually on the BNP. But I, I don't understand. If Anthony, um, Anthony's issue was that I shouldn't have been talking about my academic research at work, I'm just curious why Anthony was telling TCO News about it. Could it be that he's trying to get you into trouble further? Uh, I've got the email, by the way, but it will be in... In, in, in the thing. It's not. Dave oh, King and Janet Robinson never mentioned that email in their report. Right. 
Or perhaps it's because Anthony wanted that little tick on his box so he could possibly get a promotion and be seen ah, to do his job correctly when it's blatantly obvious in the next paragraph 5E9 that he hasn't. And I actually replied to that email saying I was surprised to be asked. Could you point us towards the email? I'm sure. 5.E8. If you if you send me an email wanting of these, I'll just forward them to you. No, I'm sure that it's here. It's just if you can give us a reference, we'll find it. Mm -hmm. Five, okay. Minute. Can we move on then, please, to yeah. 5F, which is that the whole disciplinary process has been unfair and discriminatory. Yeah, but by this I meant Five, the yeah, um, grievance seven, procedure, because I, I, I felt disciplinary and grievance were the same thing. Ian Wright said they've not. I have actually put in a complaint to the tax credit office about this. Minutes. They've not investigated it. It's gone to the tribunal who have accepted the case. <coughs> uh, accepted it. I gave them 28 days to resolve the matter. They failed to do so. Five so the tribunal have accepted. Seconds. What about the actual grievance procedure? Mean? Yeah, but I, I will go. F but what is there any point in discussing it here? Then? Yeah, it's because gone to a this, 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 well, minutes. everything's gone to a tribunal here. That's most of the things have gone to a tribunal. If those complaints are not resolved in 28 days, they will be gone to a tribunal. And I, yes. from past experience, yes. I put money on that they're not resolved in 28 days. When you say that, can I just ask, when you say they're going to the employment tribunal, that means you've formally registered a case with yes. the employment yes. tribunal? Yeah, that's why they're doing this investigation now. They didn't do it until they went to the tribunal. They just considered, a, they just found me guilty, basically, on yes. committed offences yes. when I wasn't at work. Yes or other offences when they couldn't say when if I was at work, or offences when they couldn't even say the person who accused me of them was at work, or offences when the person I was meant to have sexually yeah. harassed said no he didn't, um, and of offences of um, being led out, um, being frog marked, being uh, escorted out of a building when the guy's now saying oh sorry, he didn't, we didn't. It's farcical really. So all that is what you're taking to the employment tribunal? Oh, and a lot more. Oh, and a lot more. <laughs> a lot more then. Does the small matter of labelled me supporting suicide bombers <laughs> simply because I wore an Arabic head? Six individual yeah. issues of accusing of. It's not one issue seven of. Minutes. It's six yeah, individuals. Seven. So that's six individual issues that will go to tribunal of accusing of being a suicide bomber. There will be the separate accusations of people that have accused uh, of minutes. being Wait, possibly coming seven. to work with a shoe. And then all the other ones there is. The, the actual amount that's going to go to tribunal is going to be. It's going to be immense, right. uh, including those yeah, allegations that are not resolved. Yeah, Thank you. But so the disciplinary procedure, anyway. Yes. Um, um, the reason I asked about the employment tribunal was that if the, if that is the substance of your complaint to the tribunal, what what do you want to say about it today? Well, I mean, does presumably if we. Um, what we decide then doesn't really make any difference. If it's not solved to my satisfaction, it doesn't. No. Right. Um, so and I will point to go through it first before, um, because it's Oh well, I'm happy for it to be resolved. It's just not being resolved at the moment. Um, in fact, they're making even more wilder allegations. The more we get, I've just found out, for example, that the person who was representing the complainants said to the original investigators off tape that she wished to put in allegations herself of a sexual nature and the investigator said no don't now that raises the question of why was that person representing all the complainants and what was the investigators doing having a conversation with a half tape it, it, is this relevant to the of course it's relevant to the tape right now could you just put some names to that then please so well the name it doesn't actually give a name but it's clear it means joe lewis right it, that's one of the complaints I submitted today. But the disciplinary Eight, procedure, if I may start, the disciplinary found me guilty of offences, and they can't even say I was in work at the time these offences took place. There's, there's no dates. Nine it's like saying somebody committed murder, but oh dear, uh, we don't know if the person was present at the time. And in fact, may I remind you, Janet Robinson, Nine, in her ten, report, ten, ten, uh, when asked why they didn't raise the complaints at the time, she, sa uh, uh, she said, oh, raise it with me at the time. She said, they couldn't Nine, because he minutes, wasn't there. 20 well, if I'd done it, I would have to have been there to have done it. I mean, so, the fact that I wasn't there supports my case. Nine, I could only minutes, have been, 30, uh, I could not be there, and at the same time, they couldn't have raised it there, you know, you raise it as quickly as possible. So they should have raised it when it happened. So if Jenna Nine, Robinson minutes, said they didn't 40, raise it because I wasn't there. 
Um, but the, this, can I, this is a, this, the charge sheet. Nine minutes. From Joe Moyle. From Joe Moyle. The, the, what I'm getting at, I suppose, is here that the disciplinary process is, yes. is separate from the grievance process. Yes, I know. I've, I've, raised, so, I've yeah. raised the issue that I meant by that the grievance procedure, but they, as well, including the grievance procedure, but they've not investigated the grievance procedure yet. Is it fair to yeah, say to the minute. complaint 5F yeah. should read the whole grievance procedure? Yes. And I've can changed... Sorry? Sorry, can we assume it's that then? Well, yeah, but he's not investigated it from that point of view, has he? Is it's not what we're doing now. No. Well, you can do it then if you you want to. (laughs) (laughs) This is going to be look. Well, why don't you make the rules up as you go along? Everyone else seems to be doing so. (laughs) We have, we have, we have. I have found that it's been done properly and correctly today. Thank you. (laughs) Right. All I'm saying is, as it stands, complaint five F. Yeah. Refers to the disciplinary process. Yes. I'm asking for your agreement to change that to read the grievance process. Yeah, you can. Thank you. Ten minutes, fifty seconds. Right. Okay. Right. Um, this is. Th- I'll start with the d- disciplinary procedure. I've pointed out that none of the allegations can pinpoint me anywhere. You know, at the, at the time, uh, apart from Anthony uh, Anthony Stansfield, which says I came in in one day. But his, he says in his complaint. Minutes. He cannot remember it when he submitted the complaint. Now, if it's Chapter 17, it's got to be within three months. It's, it's not dated. 11 so we don't know when he put in that complaint. actual complaint. Isn't it? Not dated. No. Um, the only one is uh, Phil Davis. But Phil Davis's complaint is not against him. 11 it's against others. A complaint has to involve you. Uh, Tim Fisher in his complaint said it ha- one of the things happened Wednesday the 1st of October but wasn't in. 11 minutes, yeah. uh, Tony Smith cannot give a date. None of the complaints are dated apart from, you know, so... There's no evidence when these complaints were made. Although, uh, but minutes, before I go into the procedures, I, I need to raise this issue. It's the charge sheet from Joe Moyle. Now, I, I'll, I'll read bits of it. It's important. It's very important, this. So, it's, Dear Mr. Alley. I notified you on the 25th of November 2005 that I have received details of the income of the five grievance complaints made against you by Anthony Stansfield, Nick Eibel, well, Phil Davis, minutes, Tim Fisher well, and Tony definitely. Smith. I am sorry I have not been able to contact you before now regarding the matter, but that has been due to a change in my work, which required a physical move resulting in my being able well, to use minutes, blah blah blah. Anyway, it says, yeah. and then she says, um, I have now reviewed all the papers and decided that a formal uh, well, All these papers refer to me um, regarding any potential conduct and discipline matter following the grievance outcome. As a result of my thorough and careful review of these papers, I have decided that in the circumstances a formal disciplinary charge is appropriate. Now this is where it gets interesting. It states, so on in the letter, your, in the, your, your actions indicate that you have failed to uphold the standard of conduct expected of a member of HMRC. Um, HMRC. The inland revenue definition of bullying and procedures and how to handle some are contained in the guide TG 20.61. But the complaint was brought under Chapter 17, under Civil Service Procedures and ACAS Procedures. You cannot find me guilty of an offence under Chapter 20 unless the procedures were brought under Chapter 20 and I was given a hearing under Chapter 20. You didn't. I have that on tape. It, Janet Robinson begins, these are being brought under Chapter 17 of the Guide. It also says that in the transcript, the report. 13, Ian Wright 13, says, the report 13. mentions that um, in line with proce- in line, uh, the interviews are being taped in line with procedures under Chapter 17 and 20. 13, but that's what the report 14, says. When I was interviewed 13. by Dave King and Janet Robinson, they said under Chapter 17. It's on tape. It's on the transcript. I cannot be, under employment law, I cannot be found guilty, I charged of any offence under Chapter 20 because the procedure was brought under Chapter 20. You can keep that tonight. I think we do have the copy of that. Brilliant. Yes. So, Mm -hmm. and while we're on it, seeing as I've not been accused of, as I said before, uh, we're not made because of Mr. Ali's political views. I think Joe Moyle will be fair enough to wipe out the thing that uh, you undermine Anthony Stansfield by taking opportunities to embarrass and belittle him and other colleagues in public, engendering fear for your colleagues in your colleagues for your political views and use and race. Well, 
the department are now saying the complaints were not made because of my political views, I can't actually be found guilty of something, which the department is not accusing me of in the first place. Um, Ooh, I'm getting into the swing. <laughs> Can I just remind you about the, the time? Yeah, yeah, well, you know, there's only so much... This, this case is massive, you know, because... Uh, can you stop the tape a minute then, and I, I want to go on to the procedures. Uh, stopping the tape. Uh, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15. Resuming the tape at 1.21, same person's present in the same room. It says, this is 5.L2 of, of the report. It says, whether the five complainants were investigated under Chapter 17 or Chapter 20 of the guide has not been examined properly before. Chapter 20 covers discrimination and harassment, where Chapter 17 is for resolving other problems at work. There are differences in procedure under each chapter. One key difference is that under Chapter 17, but not under Chapter 20, there is normally a 13-week time, week, 13 week time limit between the occurrence of an event and the complaint about that event. There is no doubt that under Chapter 17, many of the events complained about by the five complainants would be time-barred. But as these people haven't been able to give a time, he's not in a position to say whether there will be time bound up, barred at all. If you can't say when something happened, you can't say whether it falls within or outside the 13 week limit. I think we're referring to, by reference to the date of this investigation. No, we're referring to when the complaints were made, the complaints about me. By the time they were brought, they were time barred is what it's saying. No, I know what it's saying, but how would he know that? If, if they can't say when it happened... The, the complaints were brought in... at what date? They... well, this is it. They're not... the, the point is, there's no date on the complaints. Right, I'm going to follow that one up. There is... Uh, with the exception of Phil Davis, none of the complaints are dated. Just as you, as you know, for that to go to a tribunal, in my experience, tribunals love two things. One of them is procedure errors, and the other is the omission of dates from things. Um, this is just riddled with dates that aren't there, that should be. And, you know, we are talking about people that are involved with management. They've been on training courses. They know to keep die times and dates of everything. Um, it just seems rather unusual that I see it happen with a lot of other cases, and it blatantly not happened with anything to do with this case. And I will point out to you, then, that... Even if those complaints were dated, and Phil Davis is, but none of the other, but even if they were, you still couldn't say whether they fall in or outside the period, because you don't know when they happened. Right. You're not in a position to say. But what he's saying is they would be time-barred, so they shouldn't have been brought in the first place. Um, then it, the next paragraph. We need, to we need first to consider the five complainants, TS, PD, NI, that's the complainant, or refer to making a formal complaint. AS refers to a wish to raise a grievance, non-specify spe whether the complaint or grievance is Chapter 17 or Chapter 20, and non-use the department form. Well, I've got an email from Francine Prue saying one of the reasons my complaints have not been investigated is because I didn't use the grievance form. And this so is a manager, a manager once again, not using a correct departmental form. Well, you know, come on, it doesn't really give much um, stipulate, it doesn't really give much confidence in the management, does it, for the people that work on this team, including Andy, um, that this manager doesn't know the right form to use, and he can't put a date on it, and the other four as well but want to do it. It's ridiculous. But the point I'm making, yeah, that's true, but, but this point, if my complaints as an Asian guy are not being investigated because I did not use the grievance form, why are the white complainants being investigated? Because they did not use... That's racial discrimination under the race discrimination, as I explained it before. Okay, point noted. Um, it says, AS... 19 minute 10 AS refers to... We need to first consider complaints, TSPDNO, or refer to making a formal complaint. AS refers to raise formal grievance, 
None specify whether the complaint or grievance is chapter 17 or chapter 20. Because they didn't specify it, okay, I can't. Why is the department pursuing me under either? The complaint wasn't under chapter 17 or it wasn't under chapter 20. You'll see my complaints are. Okay, so if a complaint, none of the complaint was brought under chapter 17, that I've not had a, uh, why am I being, why have I got a procedure out against me under chapter 17 when nobody's put in a complaint under chapter 17? That's racial discrimination, uh, because it allowed the white colleague. I can't equally be, I wasn't, but if, even if the complaints <coughs> are being treated as chapter 20, they couldn't have been followed because the complaint wasn't brought under chapter 20. 20 minutes. Yeah. Second. It says, allegations of some, but not all, include aspects such as sexual harassment and use of race. That would normally be in the complaint within chapter 20. Use of race is interesting because they made assumptions about my race, which was not valid. It's not only against your own procedures, it's racial discrimination. AA's counter complaint is similarly silent of whether it's tended to be within chapter 70 or 20. That was true. So, for the same reason, they would have been justified not to investigate my complaint there, which incidentally they didn't in some of them. Um, the, next, the letters appointing the investigation refer to formal complaints and are silent on whether this should fall under Chapter 17 or 20. So the investigators themselves wasn't appointed, you know, under Chapter 17. They did not have the authority to conduct an investigation, either under the chapters, because they hadn't been appointed by anybody under those these investigators come from a much higher level than us. Why are they failing to do the duties correctly? Once again, it's a failure of procedure. Where is the decision maker? Uh, not the decision maker, the case manager on this. Surely he should state which it is. I mean, at 5L5, the investigator's report says at 1 1, the complaints are brought the complaint under Chapter 17 of the guide. At 3 2, it refers both to Chapter 17 or 20. You can be preserved under 1 or the other, but not both. And as I said, it refers, um, Janet Robertson introduced it on tape as chapter 17. We discussed this aspect with Dave King, Dave King and Janet Robertson. The first thought was that the complaint was dealt with under chapter 17, and JR felt that it was under chapter 20. Now, the investigators themselves don't know. One saying it's being brought under chapter 17, the other thinks it's being brought under chapter 20. The case manager doesn't know. The complainants don't say which. Grievance procedure. You see what I'm No real surprise we're here now. Um, 22 minutes. Kath seconds. Doyle, who was the decision maker, uh, report refers only to this being a decision on complaints and does not specify the chapter concern. So the decision maker doesn't seconds. say which chapter it's being brought under. Um, the appeal decision letter by Tina Gallagher is also silent on the issue. It's farcical. Though her report sent internally, which we've not been given a copy of, does now this is very important, does raise the fact that the investigative report refers to chapter seventeen but clearly cover issues proper to issues cook to proper twenty. Chapter twenty. This is an absolute farce. How is it um, unfair and discriminatory to you though? Because complaints, I'm not being told, uh, no one's ever complained about me under Chapter 17, and yet I'm being investigated under Chapter 17. Then I'm being told it's under Chapter 20, when the investigators on, 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 on their report says under Chapter 20. The letters going out should specify which chapter it's being brought under. Despite being brought, despite the complaint that's not... Um, it's racial discrimination against me because my complaint was not used on, some of my complaints were not, I didn't use the correct form, so I've been told they're not being investigated. They did not use the correct form, but they are investigated. Um, and then I'm being told, despite it being brought under Chapter 20, I'm going to be charged under, under Chapter 17. I'm going to be charged under Chapter 20. And farcical of all, the decision makers when asked, one says she thought she was pursuing it under Chapter 17, and the other thinks I'm being pursued under Chapter 20. You couldn't make this up, but it was unfair against me, it raised to come in against me for bringing things that I'd never been accused of in the first place. Um, it's the it's old term, when, and if it's just a tribunal, it's the old term, well, it's the hand doesn't know what the elbow and the shoulder are doing. It really is. Um,
and th th this is something that I've seen a parent in tax credit was quite recently in that when it gets to investigations, uh, yeah, some definitely. of the investigations, it's just a farce and this is the king of all farces. You know, we've got three people here, the investigators. I dread to think what amount of money they're getting paid to do, well, to get and do a job, and it's quite clear they're not doing the job. And this is from an investigation from Ian Wright that they're not doing the job. I tell you something, God what? help all those people that have to come and be under investigation under these people, because at present I have no confidence that these people have done their job, and it's stipulated that they're there that they haven't done the job. What This complaint I've been brought under and you're investigating, what are you investigating it under? This one. Twenty-four minutes fifty seconds. Twenty-five minutes. You think? Yeah. I'll, I'll, mm -hmm. Yeah. I think there's um. Twenty-five minutes ten seconds. Minutes, Decision maker of the formal complaint raised by Andy Alley against Tony Smith, David King, Janet Robinson and Anthony Stansfield against Andy minutes, Alley and, and that's against you. The complaint was brought under chapter 17. Under 17? So I can't on, on that letter? Yeah. yeah, but this report says... Chapter 20. Chapter 20. to have a bit of an issue. And Janet Robinson on tape say chapter 17 and yet the charge seat says chapter 20 and the complaints don't say chapter 17 or chapter 17. The decision maker doesn't say which and the investigators haven't got a clue. Are they saying both? In various aspects of the... Janet Robinson says... You, you tell that us. You, you, tell, us. you tell us. Um, you know... What, 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 are, is it 17, is it 20, is it both? The amount of information I've asked for already in this case, which I have been failed to be given as a trade union representative, which we are allowed to, and this is just another thing, you know, it, it's, it's a roundabout, and, and unfortunately, I, I think we're not going to get a direction out of this until the tribunal get their hands on it and say, you know what, what is happening? And it's at that point we might get someone from HMRC stand up in a court and actually tell us what's going on because at the minute no one's telling us where it's coming under. It's a farce. Um, and I can't be farce or not. We have to continue. No, that's fine. With, that's, that's, with the complaint as that's it stands. Fine. That's, that's fine. I mean, I, I, like, I mean, I, I, on no part am I putting this down to you. I, I think it's putting you in a very difficult situation as well because obviously in that situation. You weren't sure you, yourselves on what was happening, so this is the difficult situation we find us all in. Um, that's fine. But the, the case, if, if you could put it in a complaint, it had to be one or the other. It can't be both. And it can't be now you have to say which. It's a farce. And as I've been told that my complaints won't be investigated because I didn't use a grievance form, and when the others have, it's racial, it's racial discrimination all over the place. Yeah, well, you, you said that. Yeah. Um, do you want me to go on? Well, what we're talking about is in what way you see this dis the, the grievance process as being unfair and discriminatory? Well, I should be told, for example, what, what the complaint's being brought under. I think we've covered that. Okay, but well, that's one. Then there's the form, then there's the other things I mentioned. But there's also, there was a six months delay in appointing investigators at the start. Why did it, and the reason give it, can I, can you stop the tape a sec? That, that has been covered in, in, the, in the report, isn't it? Uh, yes. Is, the, is there anything else you wish to say that yeah. isn't in the report? Yeah, but I, I wish to raise the points in this up. Why was there a six months delay? Minutes, they said two senior managers couldn't decide how the complaint should be handled. That's, if complaints under ACAS should be investigated as quickly as possible. He wasn't I'm because trying to ask you to make representations. I'm making representations. We, we know well, the fact that the delay is incontrovertible. It's there. But the consequence of it, is, that's what I'm asking. Well, that's what I'm saying to you. The consequence of that is that um, the consequence of that is um, people who sat together were able to discuss the case more about them. I'll, I'll give you another example. For example, um, I've always said that th these complaints they came together. Now it turns out 
that not only did they come together, but a manager was advising them on what to what to do. There was a big meeting about it. That's a conspiracy. For the purposes, let's say which manager you're. Well, the one I've been given is Kawaloki had a meeting with them and told them, um, and from then on, how to make a. Why, why are they having a meeting about the case? They're not meant to come together. Well, they're, they're having a meeting, you know, like we're having a meeting now. Um, As, and your point is that the delay has caused. And fairness and discrimination. Yeah, right, yeah. well, I was looking at something the other day, uh, unfortunately, with the cases which went to tribunal, and one of the cases um, revolves around an issue of where um, I can't remember the actual uh, what it's called, but if if procedures had been followed and time delays hadn't occurred, would the would the result have been different? If time if procedures have been followed, yeah, this would have been different. And I think the time concerns of if this has been going on for so long and we don't know the stipulated dates, and then the six month delay in appointed DM, from our point of view, yeah, I really think if we. And I, I think it's one of the great things with hindsight. Um, you can look back and say, yeah, if we hadn't had that six month break, we'd have been on top of it six months before. I do think that six month break has had an effect on the result or the outcome. Um, and I think. More so than anything, I think it's clouded, because it is for the six months down line, it's a clouding of issues and because of that time moving on people forget things. And you, you've, got, you've got other issues for example, um, how they came together, now different people are giving different stories here, apparently someone said, according to Anthony as I understand it, Anthony said, uh, or somebody said, one person put in a complaint and it prompted the others to. But what prompted the others to? How would they have known about it? They would have to have talked about it to be prompt. I mean, if, if I put in a complaint to you and go outside, the only way people would know about it is either I've told them about it or you've told them about it. Um, then um, John Polacek said in his um, statement, as, uh, or one of the witnesses said, I didn't want to be part of that little group who was making the complaint. So, there's a witness saying that he knows a group are making a complaint, but here's the interesting thing, he doesn't say, there's no time on that. So, was he aware before they submitted their complaint, which is conspiracy? Or were they discussing it after they made the complaints? As I understand it, once you've made the complaint, you're not supposed to discuss it with anybody. So, either this witness is saying he, he, he was aware this group was thinking of putting in a complaint, uh, making complaints before they've done so, which shows a conspiracy, or he's saying um, that he heard it after he put in complaints when they're not supposed to be discussing it against each other. It's either one or the other. There's no other explanation. And then Jackie Piner, a letter said, um, something about the uh, medical report, staff are thinking of putting in complaints. Now, the only way you could know staff are thinking of putting in complaints is if they've come and told you about those complaints. That is a conspiracy by anybody's standards. But I, 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 I'd like you to follow up on that one particular, well all of them, but in particular the, the statement by the witness who said I didn't want to be part of that little group who was making the complaint. Now I need to know, that this is for the tribunal, was he aware of them before they put in the complaints, that there was a little group thinking they put in complaints, or was he aware after they put in complaints when they're discussing it, because they shouldn't be. Just to point out once again, Anthony Stansfield, as manager and other managers being involved with this, mm. and everyone involved should have known that even colluding in a little group to yeah. talk about anyone, about anything, is bullying and harassment and completely against HMRC mm. values. Yeah, but that, that, that is probably the most in, one of the most important issues now, because if the witness was aware of them before they put the complaint, it, it's collusion. If it's afterwards, they're conspiring afterwards to get together, be and this is before they've been interviewed by the investigators. No wonder the stories were all okay. Can I go on to the witnesses? Well, well is this related to Grip 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 grievance procedures? Yeah. Okay. According to, I've got a hundred witnesses that have not been interviewed yet. Now, not, I, 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 the the, the tribunal case is stayed at the moment because I've given time for the. Well, one of the reasons it stayed is because the civil service haven't interviewed all the witnesses. And I want them to interview all the witnesses. I think it's only fair that they interview all the witnesses. 
and I think it would be racial discrimination against me if they didn't interview other witnesses because it would be favouring the white complainants. Um, but in witnesses, I don't understand why other witnesses wasn't interviewed. This Ian Wright in his report says, Andy Ali suggested 100 witnesses, of which I think he says something like four were interviewed and the others less. What's happened to the other 90 odd? Which, have, is there a list of these hundred witnesses? By well, no. this is what we're waiting for the tax credit office. Anthony in his complaint said I belittled him in front of 80 people. So those 80 people are witnesses. Is this at this diversity meeting? What, which diversity? I don't know which one he's talking about. Well, you can't, can you help us out here? Because unless you give us some names, how can we contact any of these people? Well, that's the point. Well, we're waiting for Anthony Stansfield has accused Andy and saying there's 80 people there. It's Anthony's duty yeah. to go, right, I'll give you the names of some of these 80 people. Otherwise, he's not doing our duty. Because as, as Andy says, what meeting? We haven't had a day. We haven't had time. Tell us the people that were there and it might jog his memory. Not some of the witnesses. I want the name of all 80 witnesses. And because I was, has Anthony gone to these people, all 80 yeah, people, yeah. and said, in my opinion, Andy belittled me there. Do you agree with me? He is assuming, I would suggest, he's assuming that because he may have felt, minutes. if he has been belittled by Andy, he may have felt that, but to presume that 80 people are going to be backing him up. No, no, let, no. let me see those 80 names and, you know, and let, let's have them investigated. Well, I, 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 I would re-raise that, actually. Anthony says there's 80 witnesses. He must know there's eight. He said 80 witnesses in his statement. Now, if he comes back and says, well, it was just an estimate, we will then be in the case where a complaint has been put in against me based on an estimate. So therefore, should I be disciplined simply because of an estimate? If Anthony, 30. but he said 80, he gave a precise figure. So I want the names of those 80 witnesses. Because if I had belittled in, in front of an event, and I deny I ever did, those 80 people, seconds. under the civil service own procedures, had a duty to, to raise the issue. And if it had been a diversity event, you would have expected them to lose more than anywhere. I'm saying it wasn't at a diversity event. I'm saying I've, uh, the, 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 I've never belittled Anthony anywhere. And once again, if he had a done, why isn't Anthony, yeah. as a bandy, and as Andy's bandy, trying not not sorted this out in the correct way? It's in the report that this was at a diversity event. As, are you saying that Thank it's not the case? Yeah. I've never belittled yeah. Anthony. He doesn't say what event, and he doesn't give you a time. I can't even say I was at work at the time, or more importantly, Minutes. You can't even say if Anthony was at work at the time. Was this an event held off the premises? I don't know. I don't know. What, all I've been told is a diversity event. What diversity minutes. event? Okay. Well, uh, we need the 80 witnesses, and I'll be asking for a further stay from the tribunal to give you more time to interview those witnesses. Minutes. You realise it is it's our decision who we interview. So uh, that, well, that's we, quite we right. Come to that. Well, the the um, I will be given, but it is my decision. Um, I'm I'm giving the department at the tribunal. I yeah tribunal. But I will find it very odd if, if the department is now saying we have a witness and you're not interviewing that witness um, because it's unfair to me because I'm saying that witness will testify that I did not behave in the manner. On due. If you're not going to come back and say, well, we're not interviewing that witness for whatever reason, that favours the white complainant. Did, sorry, Mr. Riley, can I infer from what you said that there are witnesses who would back up your version of events? I'm, I'm saying... That you could call. I'm calling these 80 witnesses. No, no, that you could call to back up your version of events. Yes, I'm calling these 80 witnesses. I'm saying that did not happen. Well, um, unless you can give me some names. I can't give you names. Of witnesses that will support your version. We can't do anything further with Hasn't that. Hasn't understood. Oh, no, hold on. The department. No, no, I'm asking no, no, you. No. If you have witnesses. I'm waiting for the department to give me the names of those witnesses. We Is have, uh, yes, we do. The same, the same 80 witnesses that uh, Anthony Stansfield was yeah. down. I don't think you can say that they are the same 80, can you? While I'm asking you, it's, are there any individuals who witnessed the event? It didn't happen, so how can there be You're a witness? You're saying it didn't happen at all? Uh, that's what I'm saying, I've never belittled Anthony. So Anthony's there are no witnesses then? I'm saying there are no Anthony witnesses, but Anthony is the one saying the witnesses. And you're saying they're not? Yeah, and those witnesses, when interviewed, will confirm that. Right, okay. So I want all 80 witnesses interviewed. So Anthony is the one that will know 
presumably because the H U in it. Well, Anthony doesn't know dates or anything, so let let uh, you know from my point of view and Andy's point of view. Will you know what? Uh, you know that, and, and from from this report, the man can't do his job anyway. So I have no confidence in in him coming back with anything at all to tell you the truth. Can we just take a quick break? Mm -hmm. I think there's, only a few, there's only a few minutes left on the table. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, then we have the diversity in London. Scott Turner said I was making sexual remarks. I said I supported suicide bombers. All those people will be witnesses. I have a video of people who were there that day. They should be interviewed. But do we know the names? The, uh, the names yeah, should be gleaned from people. Somebody at IR will know the names. Does Scott Turner mention somebody from the Cabinet Office? Scott will know who it is. He's not given a name. Um, 39 minutes. I would call David Varney because, amongst things, he's told people that I've never been accused of any criminal allegations. So, again, if I've never been accused of any criminal allegations, I can't be found guilty of half the things that they've accused me of. You can't be found guilty of something you've not been accused of. Um, Anne Chant, she was the one who did the investigation um, when Jackie. Pa she wrote to my MP saying. The letter from Jackie Pye. Jackie Pye has never met Mr. Ali. She she's a witness. Um, you've got the people who take part in BMP protests on the video. Um, Mark, they're witnesses. Uh, no witnesses to the event, though, are they? Any of the complaints? Well, the the people mentioned by Scott Turner will be. Yeah, no, I'm at the BMP rally. Well, Tony yeah. Smith, if you saw me on TV. You, but we're talking about over 100 witnesses now. So I want all 100 witnesses interviewed, and if they're not, I, there will be complaints of racial discrimination because it favours the white complainants. Right. I think we've possibly covered. No, not the grievance procedure, we haven't. <laughs> I'll go on to the witnesses. Um, this is what confuses me now. According to Ian Wright, they interviewed three or four witnesses. Yet yeah, in Dave King's report and Janet Robinson, they said I didn't put forward any witnesses. Mm. Now it can either be one or the other, minutes. but it can't be both. Seconds. They said that you haven't been able to put any witnesses Four forward from minutes, who could seconds. support my case, apart yeah. from somebody from the Lib Dem, and they didn't interview him. Well, as Ian White said, four witnesses, three or four, four witnesses were interviewed. That's suggested by you. Exactly. So it, it can be one or the other. Um, Saima uh, Bamba. In the report, um, I was acute, it was mentioned SB. When I put racial discrimination, they've changed it to SA. And Ian Wright is saying he's convinced it was a, a spelling error, it should have been SA. Second. And so does um, Dave King. But Dave King also says it was certainly somebody of the same grade as Mr. Ali. Nima Anwar is not. She was a grade below. And once again, just uh, you know, I don't. I, I, I dread going in front of because uh, I do work for the tax and that's who pays me. I'm going to dread going to tribunal and go. You know what? It was a spelling mistake by someone who gets paid forty dollars. It was a spelling mistake. It was a mistake in identity. No, no, no. no. Come on. We talk. I, I don't mean to be funny. I um. If I was earning the money that investigators are earning, and I know the remit that investigators have got, I would at least have things proofread and double proofread. And to get an ending, we're not talking about a minor mistake here, we're talking about initials of someone that is really relevant to this case. And just by turning around and going, you know what, it was a spelling mistake. Um, Firstly, that that doesn't cut with me and Andy, and I tell you something. No, that's, not, if it, that's not what I understood. It was if like well, if it goes in front of a tribunal, once again you've got documents that are incorrect because, however you look at it, an investigator has got those initials wrong. Now you can see if, if an investigator wants to stand up at a tribunal and go, not, you know what, we got them wrong. Fair enough, but once again, it's another blot on the investigators because it's another thing that they've got wrong rather than got right and that is the problem with this case there's very little which is right about it there's a lot wrong which needs sorting yeah they said it should have been they've admitted what they're saying is sb should have been sa because they someone had mentioned someone who might be able to yeah. have some information they thought it was this all right but Four, three minutes Stopping the I'll just go to the next